Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and I hope everyone had a great holidays. Um, I did take a couple days off there just so I could spend time with my family. And I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and I am back now to make another video for you all. And as always, if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. And if at the end of the video, like the video as well. That would help me out a ton. And stay tuned to the video, and this time we're going to be doing the Corsair software, and I will show you exactly how to install it and exactly what the software will do. So please stay tuned, and we will get right at this. And we are back here, and I am going to be showing you how to install the Corsair IQ software. And this software is going to work if you have any Corsair product for your computer that includes computer peripherals and also computer components on the inside of your computer. I happen to have both, so I'm going to be able to show you that first-hand experience with it. And you can also change RGB settings as well. So let's get at the installation here. So what you're going to want to do is go to your web browser. I use Chrome, but you can use any web browser. Gonna open that up here and we're gonna go to Corsair IQ. Just type that in and press enter, and that's gonna be the first one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Then it's gonna bring you to their web page here, and you're gonna want to go to download now, which is this big yellow button right here. And you're gonna click on that, and it's gonna bring you into uh, the download. And then you can put this on in whatever folder that you want to and then just press save and then it's going to download it might take just a second and then you can exit out of your browser you don't need that anymore well i mean after the um after it downloads you can close your browser we'll just let this download do have fairly fast internet so it should be done in a second and then you can just go ahead and click on this here. And then you can click on run and go through the installation. I already have it installed on my computer, so I'm not going to go through that. But all you have to do is click run and then go through the steps on the installation. It's very simple, just step by step. And then you will be brought to... And then you'll have this little icon here down in your um, task manager the control panel here and that this little icon here you're going to right click on it and then you're going to click on bring to foreground and then it's going to bring up this little um, window here and this is where you can control all of your products that you have that are Corsair branded or that work with the IQ software so I have the Void Elite wireless headphones for my computer and I can control the um, EQ presence presets, and I can also control the lighting as well. And there's a little picture of the light right there that is the same that is going to show on the actual headphones. These are very good headphones, and I do highly recommend them. Um, there is EQ presets here that I have my own set because these the ones that are like preset. I found to not be as good as it could be. So I've, just, I've made my own that sounds pretty decent. And I also can turn on 7.1 surround right here. Or I can turn stereo sound on. And you can also change the side tones right here. And also the mic volumes. And then if you, I have the Vengeance RGB Pro memory for my computer. And in here you can, can see all the temperatures of each stick of RAM. And you can also move them around and stuff. And here is your dim setup. I have mine set up at a 1x4. But you can also set up 2x2. Two two and also a 2x4 dim layout. And those are just like that. It will show you the diagrams. Mine is a 1x4. So I have mine set to a 1x4. The lighting effects you can change right here. I just have mine at a static color. And I seem to like that, that deep purple color. It looks it just looks nice. It's nice on your eyes. 
um, but you can change this to any anything that you want. This is link lighting, so any of these are going to change for everything. Um, and everything that is Corsair that runs on the IQ software. So if you select one of these, it's going to change all three of these. If you change the custom, then it's going to be just this one, just the uh, one that you have clicked selected here. And the predefined ones are also going to change just the selected device. So that's the lighting, and you have this full color wheel here, and you can also change the opacity. Um, which will be like the brightness or the, the depth of the color that is um, available. And then you have a, a little preview right here as well. And next we have timings. You can also change timings, which uh, for to change the actual timing, you have to change that in bio settings. But here you can actually see the, the clock speed and timings. You can view them. And there's the frequency right there. My frequency is actually higher than that, but right now it is at its like, um, it's at its like idle speed. This is 3600 megahertz RAM, so I mean, the RAM speed is always going to be lower. But there's the clocks, and there's um, cycle times and command rates right there, and there's also a graph right here which you can change one minute five up to a day so there's the day and i was just playing some games so that little that's this little graph here is going to show a higher temperature for ram because i was just gaming and there's the hour 30 minutes and then you can go all the way down to a minute and here's notifications if you have anything wrong with your memory or any device that is coarser on your computer it's going to have notifications here, and I also have the ASUS motherboard, which I can only use the um, RGB headers, and also the, it has RGB lighting, like it's located like right here on the motherboard where my cursor is, and it is also has RGB headers on this as well. If I have RGB strips or something that I have plugged into the case or something like that, I can also control that lighting. But I cannot see like specifications about the actual motherboard because this is not a Corsair motherboard. It is only only the IQ software will work with the lighting on the motherboard. So if I click on lighting effects here, I have mine set to um, detect the temperature of my graphics card. And I know I have a 1660. I do plan on getting a 3070 or a 3080 soon, as soon as I can get one. So please don't make fun of me about having a 1660 as the only one I could get at the time of when I built this computer. And then, I mean, I knew the 3000 series was coming out, so I just got a 1660. Um, but I was unable to get a 3000 series when it launched. Um, and everyone knows about that, so... Yeah, um, I have my... Temperature lighting set to the temp of the graphics card, and you can also select many different ones here. These are all like different surface temperatures of the motherboard, and you, uh, you can also set this to my Ryzen 5 3600. And you can set your own colors there, and you can also set a ton of different color options right here. And you know, there's also a lighting library that you can predefine different lighting settings that you want to just choose um, and not have to set them up individually. And then there's the headphones, then there's the RAM, and then the motherboard lighting as well. And if you have more devices, they'll be all lined up right here. My uh, computer peripherals, my mouse keyboard and mouse pad is all Razer. So I have um, the Razer software, the Synapse, installed, and that is going to be what I'm going to do in the next video on how to use the Razer Synapse software. So please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel to get um, the first-hand experience with the Razer software. Um, I can go through all of that. It's pretty cool software, especially on the keyboard. I can use individual lighting on every key and the mouse is all, everything is all individual lighting.
it's really cool software as well and you can update the keyboard mouse and i have a um, the razor goliath extended mouse pad as well so please stay tuned and subscribe for that next video be doing that on friday um and next in the iq software here if we go home you will also see all of this here and you can set different profiles for like lighting and stuff you can link um programs as well you can link the profile icons background images um tabs transparency and you can so just there's so much stuff you can do um for that i don't have that set up i just have it on default but um you can set it up if you would like and here's the dashboard you can select your different um stuff here there's no battery in my computer but you can select the voidly and the um, vengeance rgb you can't select the motherboard because the motherboard is not a corsair motherboard so i don't, I don't even think corsair has a motherboard you can just use the lighting but you can set this up here for it to like just easy access to everything and you can also set this here and then you can see all the temperatures of the ram and you can see the frequency and clocks and everything there's the lighting this, this is instant lighting so if you select one of these then it will change all these all the lighting and, and all three products to whatever color this is um, that you select which is pretty cool if you just want to just choose one color across the board and there's also settings right here um they my headphones are charging right now but it would show the battery percentage right here and you can enable and disable voice prompts and you can change the brightness of the rgb on the sides and you can also change the um auto shut off of the headphones that they, they like will go into standby if there's no sound going to them and you can also update them as well and here you can do um, the same thing as you can with the headphones with the memory you can change the brightness of the um, lighting right here and you can enable full software control of the um, ram and the software con control enables full lighting customization but effects are not saved to the device itself so the software will control everything and here you can also update the memory as well and here i mean there's no motherboard settings because like i said you can only use the lighting with that but for these two devices you can change all these different settings and update them as well so it will update the firmware and software and you can also force a firmware image right here if you have one downloaded and that's pretty much it for the iq software i will include everything into the description below and i can also include links to the void elite wireless headphones and the vengeance rgb pro memory the same ones i have and i hope to be putting together a um parts list that my uh, build list for that my computer is so that everyone knows what my computer specs are and i'll be putting that into the into the description of every one of my videos and i hope that people will like that let me know in the comments if you would like that or not and i hope everyone liked this video and I hope everyone found this video helpful as well if you found it helpful please give it a like and also please subscribe to the channel a lot of us that are watching the videos my videos are not subscribed and it would really help me out a lot if you all could subscribe to the channel even if you don't like it you can also unsubscribe later if you end up not liking the channel um, you can always of course unsubscribe but a, a like on the videos and a subscription to the channel it is totally free there's no charge to it um, would help me out a ton it would help me out, uh, it would really help me out a lot um, so I hope everyone likes this video and I hope everyone found this video helpful and I will see you all Friday on the new year we will be back in here in in 2021 on Friday 
So I hope you all liked the video and have a great day and I will see you next year. Peace out.